Attach the wedge to the wedge holder as shown. Check alignment. Make sure it is straight. Tighten firmly. Place the acrylic guard box on the load sill platform. Two pins under the base will lock it in place. Each ampoule holder is marked with the size. Choose the correct ampoule holder and place it in the guard box. Two pins under the base will lock it in place. There are three types of ampoule brake systems, OPC or one-point cut ampoules, have a small incision, or cut, in the constriction of the ampoule. A small, colored dot, marks the position, of the breaking cut. This type of ampoule, should be placed in the holder, in such a way, that the OPC, dot, is facing downwards, S, C, O, or, Scoring type, amplus are those, in which a disc, marks the glass surface, all around the constriction. These type of ampules, can be kept in any orientation. CBR, or, color break ring type, ampules have, a colored enamel ring, around the constriction. These type of ampules, can also be kept in any orientation. Now, place the ampoule in the holder, and push it slightly, towards the base. The stopper plate, will ensure proper centering, of the sample. Place the top cover, as shown. This will prevent, the glass splinters, from coming out. Start the software. Log in with your credentials. Select Begin Test. If this is your first test, fill up the relevant details as shown. If this is a repeat test, the details from the last test will automatically show on the screen. Change only the fields that need to be changed. Set the target minimum and maximum braking force. Click on Done, and then, Yes. This is your test screen. Press 0. Then press Start. If the gap between the wedge and the sample is more than 10 mm, press jog button, to allow the machine to move down fast. When the wedge comes very close to the sample, Press jog again to make the machine move at slow speed. The force being exerted on the ampoule, will be shown on the dial, on the software screen. As soon as the sample breaks, the machine will auto stop and return back. It will show a test completed sign. Rate the test, as normal, or abnormal. Place another sample. Test all remaining samples this way. 
Select normal or abnormal after every test. Fill in remarks, if any. Then press save. The window will close and a PDF test report will be generated.